If you clicked on this video, then you probably feel the same way that I do in thinking that hockey is the greatest sport in the world, period. The feeling of flying down the ice, or the thrill of going bar down ski followed by a subtle fist pump celly, cause, come on, be honest, you've been there before. There truly isn't anything else like it. So why on earth am I logging on to Google and seeing articles like this? Is hockey truly dying, and if so, how do we go about saving it. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to address some of the rumors that hockey, the sport that we've come to know and love, is on the decline. Before we get into it, please make sure to hit the like and smash the subscribe button and if you want to stop a potential decline in hockey then come on down to Canland Sports. Whether you're stepping under the ice for the first time or you're a seasoned veteran looking for a league to compete in like the ASHL, I guarantee that Canland Sports has your hockey fix. All right, folks, let's get into the video. So first things first, are people watching hockey? This is one of the easiest and most quantifiable ways that we can determine whether or not hockey is on the upswing or the decline. Let's start with the NHL All-Star Game. A wonderful day for hockey fans where all the best players in the league get put onto four different teams and duke it out. Here are the numbers from last year's All-Star Games across all major North American sports. Yeah, you're seeing that properly. The NHL isn't up there. So that's a little scary, but sadly, it's about to get a lot more frightening. Here is a list of the single most viewed NHL games of all time. Now, as we can see, there's definitely a few games up there from the 2010s, but the list is also heavily dominated by games from the 70s. And as we can see, even though the viewership is relatively the same, the ratings for the older games are far higher than it is for the more more recent ones. That's because in 50 years, a lot of things change. The scale of what's good viewership shifts. So the fact that current NHL games still aren't better than games from the 70s indicates a serious lack of growth. So the NHL isn't really growing, but what about other sports? Well, they are. Statista released some numbers last year indicating that more Americans are following the MLS than the NHL. This indicates a sizable shift because for the longest time, the NHL was always considered one of the four major sports in North America. So basically, all of this sucks. Now I imagine that if you've watched this deep into the video, then you really care about hockey and having people show less interest in watching it, it's really a drag. Which then leads us to our next thing. What are we gonna do about it? Well, the good news is that even though people are watching hockey less, that doesn't mean that they still aren't playing. Dave Flaherty from Sports Events Media Group wrote an article fairly recently talking about the popularity of the sport. In that article, he writes, USA Hockey's membership had been on an upward trajectory throughout most of the 2010s. P Peaking during the 2018-19 season with 567,000 players. That was up by more than 100,000 over 10 years. 30 years ago, there were only 195,000 players registered for hockey in the US. It should also be noted that hockey in other countries, such as the European nations, is developing pretty well too. Historically speaking, Canadian players have dominated the NHL, but as time has gone on, more and more stars from other nations have joined. This indicates that hockey is growing in places other than just Canada and the US. Now, there are numerous reasons for why hockey might be gaining popularity in other places, but I think honestly one of the big ones is that it's starting to become more accessible for everyone. I think that we can all agree that there are definitely some more strides that need to be taken in this aspect, but the hockey community is definitely getting more diverse, which is just awesome to see. Here at Canland Sports, we've been working really hard to grow our community and make the sport available to everybody. Effectively, what all of this means is that people are watching hockey less, but they're playing it more, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Plus, playing is always better than watching anyways, right? In the end, everybody should get the opportunity to experience what it feels like to jump on the ice and play. So drop into your local ring for some shinny. Join a league. Support your local minor league team. Go to your little cousin's peewee game. All of these actions are the things that are going to keep our great sport relevant and important. But please, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below. Also, once again, if you are looking to jump in and experience hockey for yourself, then click the link to our website down below and find the perfect program or league for you. Thank you so much for watching, 
and I will catch you next time.